Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. Press day 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 14th of April and we'll be able to send out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. of very run trying to get weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that will get us um, more or less to the end of April. So I'll get on back for you in a moment. Just see that first video today for 6am upload. We've also released the extended European Outlook for the next uh, 30 days. And um, if that wasn't enough, there's been a bonus video, which is the third Easter update as well. So please check out all of today's videos. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about our videos. And uh, don't get too friends about Gals Webbies. And uh, get them to subscribe. And thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. We're at 15.7k. We're looking to get 15.8k next. And our ultimate target at the moment is 16,000 subscribers. Wow, wow, wow. Um, right, okay. Let's start off searching the temperature. So the CT is currently sitting at 7.5, which is 0.4 degrees below average uh, for 61 to 90, 90. That's provisional. Um, to be third there. That is provisional to the 3rd of April. So, uh, yeah, we can see that it has been uh, quite, uh, um, quite a chilly start to April. <laughs> Yesterday, it's actually a little bit above average. So it's come down quite a lot, hasn't it, over the, uh, over the past 24 hours. So that's because we're having some quite cold nights. At the moment, that will tick down further, probably into the sixes uh, by uh, by midweek. I would have thought by around Thursday. Um, should start to but stabilise me and start coming back up again after that, though. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. The next couple of weeks, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Edinburgh. We're looking at Edinburgh today, starting off above average. With the uh, upper air temperatures, although inversion is taking place, which means it's cooler on the surface, so it is a lot, particularly so at night. Now, we're going to see those upper air temperatures coming down closer to average as we go through the uh, rest of the week and into the Easter period. So, um, the upper air temperatures, you know, not particularly exciting for Easter. And then beyond that, just hovering quite close to average until late on, there might be a little bit of a tick up. You'll notice here, got a thick green line, which is the GFS operational run. That actually becomes quite warm right late on, but it is one of the uh, warmest ensemble members. Um, within the sweep, precipitation-wise, the dry spell that we thought we were looking at in the first half of April is wobbling a little bit. We've got some wet weather to come um tomorrow and into thursday and then there's going to be more wet weather on bank holiday monday uh by the look of it so <laughs> overall does look a little bit mixed um but a couple of a few a couple of drier windows so at the moment we're into a drier window and then there will be a drier window uh as well um over the uh over the um second half of the easter period and through the early part of the easter period and uh, whatnot but the, uh, the precipitation rain comes back later on in the easter period and around mid-month looks a little bit unsettled before they start to go drier uh, a little bit drier again perhaps into the second half of the month uh, right, temperature normally it's from the 4th to 12th of April. They're coming out a little bit below average for England and Wales, slightly above average Scotland and also for Northern Ireland. Precipitation anomalies from the 4th to 12th of April, still a little bit drier than average down south. Uh, looks wetter though in the more northern parts of the country. Latest wind from that from EarthNoSchool.net shows that uh, we've got high pressure east, low pressure to the west today, so with plenty of low pressure. In the Atlantic at the same time, there's a wall of high pressure away to uh, the northeast. We are bringing a weather system into uh, the west, and uh, that's going to be bringing wet weather with it, which of course, up tomorrow. Check out 6 a.m. broadcast for about that. Right, this is how you can make your arrangements looking midnight on Easter Monday. So you get rid of a trough of low pressure building up a ridge from off the Atlantic. That turns into an area of high pressure. Through Saturday and Easter Sunday, and then get through Easter Monday. Got the next area of low pressure starting to knock on the door. Icon again building up a little bit of transient ridge as we go into the early part of the Easter period. Then low pressure comes up, mooching in from off the Atlantic, bringing a spell of uh, wet weather across the country through Easter Monday, probably, and then turning us into a cooler and more showering 
west or northwesterly flow. That's how we look as yet to the end of the icon run, which is midday on Tuesday, rather showery. The GFS midnight run, again, building up that area of high pressure away to the east through the course of the uh, first half of the east weekend. And on Bank Holiday Monday, we've got the next area of low pressure moving in from the Atlantic. That brings a spell of rain through Bank Holiday Monday before we turn the wind back into a more showery west or northwesterly. I remember GFS midnight run about this really quite deep area of low pressure in the Atlantic as we approach the middle part of April. So, um, you know, it looked like we might get a couple of weeks of, of high pressure, but we're wobbling. We're wobbling on that, particularly for GFS output today. So quite a deep area of low pressure setting up down the 13th and 14th of April. That brings quite unsettled weather through the middle part of the month. And then into the second half of the month, just stays rather unsettled, really, and quite cool with the GFS midnight run. Not great for anyone who's looking for a, a window of a couple of weeks of drier weather, that. Uh, the GFS 6 said it's all much of a much just for Easter. We build high pressure up uh, through the first part of the East weekend, and then we knock it down as low pressure comes in off the Atlantic through Bank Holiday Monday and into uh, Tuesday next week, this time next week being uh, a spell of wet weather across the country, followed by showers. Still developing this deep area of low pressure in the Atlantic as well, around the 12th, 13th of April. That brings wet and windy weather, especially to the north and to the northwest. But different with GFS 6, then we extend it, in that it builds up this large ridge to our south and east. So instead of that cooler, cool, unsettled weather that the midnight run had, the GFS 6 had actually turned dry and looked quite warm with this ridge of high pressure taking over right the way to the uh, second half of April, right, get to the 20th of April, uh, with high pressure in control. If you enjoyed the video, then please give a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for uh, doing that for us. Thank you so much. Right, GM, again, with uh, high pressure building over and to the east of country. Through the first half of the east weekend, then east of Monday brings low pressure back in from off the Atlantic, looking quite unsettled with the GM through next week with low pressure in control. That idea of a protracted spell of high pressure certainly not not <laughs> showing up there with the GM. And then the ECM looks like this with high pressure again over and to the east of the country through the first half of the east weekend. A little bit less unsettled with the ECM for bank holiday Monday to Tuesday. It does bring a system for I think that's particularly in the north. Down the south, I don't think there's much rain getting through there. So the annual model output, the ECM, is more settled for Easter and into next week as well, actually, with more influence from uh, higher pressure. Otherwise, particularly the GFS, but also the GEM and ICON to some degree, looking uh, really quite unsettled from Easter Monday onwards. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Threadshow.com. Here comes a shower rain over the next uh, couple of days. That will get out of the way by the time we get through to Easter, though, uh, with mostly dry weather away from the far northwest, anyway, into uh, the first half of Easter weekend. That's Easter Monday. Notice most of the wet weather is being restricted to the northern half of the country by the ECM on Easter Monday. So the south and southeast just about gets away with a dry day. And then next week, actually, most of the rain is to the north and the west with more wet, dry weather to the south. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day 10 gets us to the 14th of April from the Icelandic Met Office. 12 hours of the ECM on songs in Clima Control and the operation run with high pressure to the south um, and low pressure is away to the northwest. And so that to lead. That leads even to us bringing in the wind from a southwest direction. Main driver south, a little bit more unsettled further north. Uh, number 12, just here, we have quite deep low pressure away to the northwest, but some high pressure to our east. So that's going to be relatively mild, maybe quite warm, but most unsettled in the north. 12 with uh, low pressure in from off the Atlantic, bringing unsettled conditions with it. 9 with low pressure, deep low pressure over the country, very unsettled with that one. And 6 with high pressure over Scandinavia, bringing winds from the east. A range of options there 
Uh, but uh, day ten, um, and uh, so so we either have it, you know, dry, or we have it very unsettled, or we're somewhere in between. In between, I suspect we'll probably end up somewhere in between. In between, but we'll have to wait to see. And during time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the nineteenth of April. Twenty members of the ECM ensembles with a Scandinavian high and an easterly uh, wind, mostly dry, but could be a little bit on the cool side. 18 with high pressure right over top of couch that should be dry and reasonably warm that's the most spring like op option i would have thought and then 13 still unsettled with low pressure in from off the atlantic so we're trending probably towards higher pressure in the second half of april there um if you take the 20 with scandinavian high the 18 with high pressure over top of the country but train definitely you know within the um, these are ensembles is towards high pressure there by the 19th of April. CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar height and orange breaking out into weak periods. The first week period takes us from 4 10th of April. The coming week has high pressure over Scandinavia and winds will be in from an easterly uh, direction of main drive week here. Week 2, big change. It's the 11th to 17th of April with low pressure in control as a high pressure retreats back to northern Scandinavia. So that brings in unsettled west or southwesterly uh, winds. Week 3 <laughs> is going to be the 18th to 24th of April with high pressure to our east and uh, that looks main dry and quite warm actually that'll bring the wind up from the south southerly is there with uh the surface in week three and then week four also looking quite nice it's the 25th of april to so the first of may actually gets us to may today with the um uh, with the CFS, and again, we have this nice, rich, close to the country, um, though you expect quite a lot of dry and warm weather with that, a warm and dry second half to April, perhaps, however, we was expecting a relatively dry, um, you know, quite mild first half to April, and we are, we are wobbling on that quite clearly, so uh, we shall see when we eventually get to an extended period of high pressure. Okay, we're done, if you enjoyed the video, then please you like, share, subscribe, thank you so much for doing that, drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and don't get to tell friends about gals well it's it's amazing it's incredible and we thank you so much everyone for doing that right just to, coming up tomorrow we're going to have a 6 a.m upload we'll be having a uh USA update as well looking at weather in, in the states and there'll be a 10 to 14 day no live stream of course on wednesdays for the time being so instead of live streaming 10 to 14 day we'll just do it like this as a regular video upload so that's the uh, plan for tomorrow you enjoy the rest of of your Tuesday afternoon and evening. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.